Hello everyone, welcome back to our brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be going over what's inside an electric skateboard battery. This right here is a damaged 12S4P Samsung 30Q pack that we used to sell on our store. We figured it would be the perfect time to open it up to see what was going on inside. If you're interested in this pack, they are unfortunately all sold out and unavailable. However, we do have a new option coming soon, so stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what that is. On most packs, normally there's a PVC vinyl kind of heat shrink around the pack that keeps it nice, usually in black or blue, but it's off in this picture already. Underneath that, to protect the battery, we have this yellow plastic sheet. It's on all four sides of the battery, providing a hard shell case for it. It's bound together by this clear, reinforced by fiberglass tape. So basically, what we started doing was just cutting all of the edges of the tape in hope of peeling all of the yellow pieces back. After clearing all of the tape from the sides, we were able to peel back the top layer of the yellow plastic sheet. This exposes the part of the BMS that's protected as well as all of the cells. So from this shot right here, you can see that there's really two sections of this battery that are clearly defined. First, there's the cells, which is all those little pink things. And then on the left side, in that black thing, is the BMS. We have these packs manufactured for us, so we've never actually seen the inside. It was fascinating to see how organized the pack was and how they put it together. After getting one side off, we continued to take off all of the protective yellow sheets in hope of reaching the core of the problem. At this point, we found the BMS, which was protectively hidden under this plastic sheet and in between all of these very hard foam pads for protection. This BMS is connected for charge and discharge and is connected to all of the components including the switch and the power indicator. From this angle, you can see clearly what the interior of our pack looks like. All of the cells neatly arranged, the BMS in its own little area, nicely contained and protected by all the foam, that way none of the wires will interfere, short, or cause any problems with the battery. The cells are also nicely arranged with these black spacers to ensure that they won't overheat. In this shot, we took off the foam in hope of searching the BMS for the loose wire. And this is where we found the problem, which was that the switch wire had come loose from the port that soldered on the BMS. It turned out to be a simple fix, and all we had to do was re-solder it to the BMS. So there you have it, that's what the inside of our battery packs look like. If you're interested in buying one, we have some 10S 4Ps still available that are very similarly configured on our online store propulsion boards. As you can see, we only use genuine 18650 Samsung 30Q cells for the highest quality of pack. We also have an integrated BMS for charge and discharge. The pack is also well organized and filled with plenty of features to keep your pack running and safe. So there you have it, this video was just in hope of getting you guys a closer look inside of our electric skateboard batteries and what most eSkate batteries look like. If you liked the video, please leave us a like down below and subscribe to our channel for other eSkate content. And now for the big reveal, we are announcing the release of our new 12S3P40T battery on pre-order. So basically, you can pre-order this pack right now on our online store and they should be here within the next 5 weeks. By ordering today, you'll be able to get $50 off our actual sale price and we'll ship them out to you as soon as we get them. The upgraded cells will mean that this pack will have the exact same specs as the 12S4P and a much smaller package so that you don't need to have as bulky a pack. Check the description below for a link to this product where you can check out more specs. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.